What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, welcome, join the family, get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Almost lost my breath there. So I've been tinkering with the Subarus and I wanted to make a video, but then I kind of like decided not to because of a reason that we'll get into later in the video. But I decided, why not let's go ahead and make one so the biggest thing we have going on today which is biggest not just because of size but time consumption wise is we are getting rid of these fluted headlights i'm not a fan they look old school and i like the crystal lights so we're gonna go ahead and swap these into it but first check this out Something was telling me that this circuit breaker was put on backwards. Up here it says accessory and down here it says battery. So that's why I had the cable to the battery going down here and the cable going to the car up here. So I decided to switch them around to see if that was the issue. And guess what? That was the issue. So now if I connect my jump pack and I give it power, you can hear the car beeping and the light is on. If I turn the breaker off, it doesn't beep anymore and the light is gone. It doesn't surprise me that these cheap Amazon breakers are labeled backwards. So I'm glad we got that fixed. As you can see, I have a solar charger hooked up. It's actually fell out, <laughs> okay. But hopefully that gets rid of all our starting issues. Hopefully that'll keep the battery charged enough to just start whenever I need it to. We shall see. So now onto the headlights. Man, these headlights can really make or break a car. I feel like it just completes the front end look of this thing. Like crystal headlights on a GC, it's a must have. I got this new iPhone 13 Pro. Shout out Emily's mom, but check this out. It has a cinematic mode. So let's see how some rollers come out. So glad both headlights have the mounting tabs. Now I don't have to worry about them falling out, which leads me to one of the things that we're gonna be doing on the blue Subaru. One of the tabs on this car is broken, so it no longer holds the grill in place. So it's pretty sketchy driving it. I always feel like I'm gonna drop the grill. So I'm glad that we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now.
All right, one more thing squared away. Now onto another clip. This clip right here has never allowed me to latch my extended armrest. As you can see, I can just pull it up, but I have the clip that latches onto this right here that came with the armrest because I bought it brand new OEM. So I brought this, so we're gonna go ahead and swap this, but I'm not gonna bore you guys. So let's just go ahead and all right, quick and painless for you guys. So now, as you can see, it won't come up. And if I pull this latch, it comes right up, latches down, won't come up, good to go. And our last thing on our to-do list is something very small. No one else is gonna know about it, but you guys, if you do it to your car, but something super cool that come on Nissan cars, most commonly on uh, Skyline GTRs like R32s, R33s, and R34s, and they are striker covers. So your door strikers probably look crappy like mine do, but you can make yours go from this to this. And as you can see, this looks super cool. So I got a set of these striker covers, brand new OEM. They go for about I'd say $50 for one of them. Sometimes you can get lucky and get them two for 50, but I browse and I mainly saw like one for like $45, which is crazy for a little piece of plastic. I was able to find a Japanese distributor and I was able to order four of these for about $75 shipped to my door from Japan but they were on back order. And then the main reason why I didn't want to do this video was because I wanted to do a comparison. I found a company that makes some aftermarket ones and I've heard people say that they're nice. I've heard other people say that they are very hard plastic so they're, they aren't as nice. So I wanted to compare them for you guys. So I bought two of them and I lost them. So I was super bummed. I searched for them for about three or four hours before doing this video and I couldn't find them. So that's $20 in the trash, which sucks, but here we are. These are super cool. Like they literally just slap on to our strikers. They're the same exact shape as Nissan one. So check this out. No striker and we're just gonna slide it on like this and just push it in until it clips in, it has clips on the side that just grab onto the striker. And look at that, nice and clean. One more time on the passenger side for you guys. Again, slide it on till it slaps in and you're good to go. Look at that, that looks so freaking clean and sleek. Like when you open your door, you don't see like very weathered metal. It's just a nice black plastic and you're good to go. So. I lost the ones for the coupe, but I was able to score another set of OEM ones for the coupe, so I will be throwing these on. But you guys know that I couldn't leave you guys hanging. So right here, I have four more of these striker covers. I wanna give them to one of you guys, and I'm thinking the best way to do it is comment down below a number one through 100, and we're gonna give this until Sunday, November 7th at midnight. Eastern Standard Time and then on sometime on Monday I will do a little sh very short live video of me using a random number picker on Google and we will see who the winner is the person that gets the closest to the number obviously wins a free set of these comment down below a number one through 100 and I want you to comment down below if you have a four door or if you have a coupe because if you have a coupe then I'd like to choose another person with a coupe so I can give two to you and two to someone else or if you have a four door then obviously I would have to send you all four but I will be checking your Instagram if you are the winner you guys better not lie because if you say you have a four door and you only have a coupe I'm only gonna send you two. So make sure you guys are being honest. I do enjoy doing these little giveaways. I know that you guys like learning about all these new little things that I keep showing you guys because a lot of you guys always tell me. So I wanna keep it fun and 
start giving you guys some of these. I will include the OEM part number to these things in the description below in case you guys want to look them up. But again, they're like $45 each or like 50 for two or something like that. Very crazy prices for little plastic pieces. I'm also going to include the aftermarket brand that I found. I got two for $10 and then the shipping was another 10, I believe. So I'm pretty sure I only spent like 20 bucks even though I lost them. I'm sure I'll find them one day when I'm not looking for them, but since I was today, couldn't find them. I'll include that link and I will also include a link to the Japanese place that I found that I was able to score four for 75. They were on back order. They emailed me about a week. Or if you guys know someone with a Skyline or I referenced the part number and it says that they come on Skylines and they also come on Nissan Armadas uh, 2017 and up, I believe. So if you guys know anyone with any of those cars, you know where to find them. Obviously, I'm talking about a part out or if you find like a 17 and up Armada at like a junkyard or something, I don't know. But you can take them off of those cars as well. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, if you guys want to get a free set of these, Make sure you comment a number one through 100 down below and also tell me if you have a two door or a four door and I will be picking a random winner on Monday. So good luck to all of you. I'm gonna end it right here. If you guys like these little videos, I'm gonna continue making them. Just make sure that you guys are liking the video and obviously subscribing to the channel, hitting that little bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. But that's gonna do it for this one. So. Thank you guys for watching and as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas.